Hey, Shannon, I am so glad that we've had this chance to get to know each other a little bit. And congratulations on being the industry person of the year. It's, it's phenomenal to have you here. So Shannon Tomasco, I am honored to give you the award. It will be coming in the mail. I know this is virtual setting, but I will be sending you an award uh, for industry person of the year. Well, thank you. Like an, an actual certificate award. Oh, like a like a, a pretty one, like a glass oh, crystal you. looking thing. Yes. I'm very honored. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you. And um for everybody else, you know, who acknowledged me and, and recognized and um, you know, took the time to vote and stuff like that. I but thank you very much. And again, you just hope you change a few people's lives. You don't necessarily hope to, you know, become industry person of the year or even know that it existed. Um so thank you so much and I'm so grateful and yeah, well, I think that's just a testament to what you were doing. I mean, I found you online and just being an advocate for the skilled trades is so important. And I just want to let people know who you are, what you stand for. And so if you'll tell us a little bit about what is your, you know, everyday job and then what are you an advocate for? Well, I'm, I'm an electrical apprentice, so I'm um, in a skilled trades construction. And what is an apprentice? I think a lot of people are unfamiliar with the, the skilled trades. And it's just I'm a student and, you know, process to become that journeyman, um, you know, and, you know, my side job or whatever, what I like to do in my spare time is that advocacy piece, you know, and um, I love my job. It's it's really brought a lot of great things to my life. You know, I talk, I think the, the word I like to use is independence. You know, it's given me financial independence. It's given me the independence to try things at home, the confidence, you know, to take on different projects. And that's very freeing to know that, you know, you, you don't need other people. You're not relying on other people. And I just want other people to know that the skilled trades can give you that. So, you know, my advocacy is trying to just to spread the word, let youth know, because I think it's important we educate the young people, um, you know, let them know what kind of career options or, you know, things are out there. And um, yeah, that's that's what I try to do. Yeah, and I think it's wonderful. Your social media following is strong and just to how you're able to create videos. You're so creative. And I think that that um, you get to you know use both sides of your brain, I guess, uh, with this job and then and then using that creative side through social media, I think is amazing. What I love also just from your LinkedIn bio, right, um, is how you describe like helping people with their mental health and the sisterhood. Can you tell us a little bit about what you mean by the sisterhood? And it's, it's you know, I think mental health is really important to me. Everybody knows about my current job as an electrical apprentice, but, you know, I'm 33 years of age. What did I do for that first decade of my, you know, 20s? Um, you know, I, I went to school for child youth work. Child youth work is a lot about mental health, growth and development of, you know, young people and youth. And, and, and so for me, mental health is so important. Um, you know, I think it's, it's really important we, you know, with COVID, everybody's been experiencing these, you know, different struggles and we all, we all have them, you know, and I think we don't talk about maybe them as much as we could or should. Um, and especially in the skilled trades, it's definitely, you know, there's no mental health days on a construction site, you know, where if I went to work as a child and youth worker and I was just like, I'm just having a mental health day, people would respect that it's just a hard day today, you know, and give that person, you know, just a little bit of space. And I think I'd, I'd love to see that more, you know, out there. And with sisterhood, well, we can't have sisters, sisterhood when there's no sisters. Right. So, like, you know, we've got a brotherhood because there's a bunch of them. But, you know, to have sisters, I, I need them. So, um, you know, I feel, think it's so important to encourage all women. You know, I think sometimes a lot of women, we, we you know, we judge ourselves, we compare ourselves. But at the end of the day, we need all of us because you're going to resonate with somebody that I don't resonate with. And I'm going to resonate with somebody that you don't. And if we start competing with each other, what are we doing? We're robbing society. So, you know, we need to be together, working together and realizing we're all unique. Um, and we all have a different job um, here, you know. Well, I love that. Yeah, I love that. And I, I saw kind of you work, it, you know, where you work, it says brotherhood. And I just imagine you being the only there. And, and then, you know, to see that in your bio, I was really excited, you know, that you, you know, that you need women around you. I think it's really important that um, our industry as a whole understand that, you know, we can work anywhere, right? We can work in male dominated spaces, we, we can do the job, but we still need that 
community of women and to be able to rely on each other and, and encourage each other, I think is really important. That encouragement, uh, you just don't get it as much um, in these male dominated spaces. So um, I love that we have a created an empowering women in industry. So I, of course, want to invite you to that if you haven't seen it, not to join us. But, you know, if, if you could have a change in the skilled trades, what is it that you're looking for? What are you advocating for there? Well, obviously, you know, uh, I'd like to see more women or sisters. I think, you know, it's really important that we have both genders. We both possess different strengths, weaknesses, um, you know, and, and it's together that makes us stronger. When more women come in, naturally things will change. You know, we're always talking about how do we change things? We just need to change maybe, you know, the balance a little bit. Um, I like to talk about about like one of the few books I read called Half the Sky, and it talks about women oppression around the world. And, you know, one of the key pieces I, I took from that and I reflect on is the countries that talk about the women that don't work. You know, IQ is a resource, lumber is a resource, you know, water is a resource, IQ is a resource. And when you leave half of your population's IQ at home, you are robbing your country and you're robbing the potential. And so the this country, you know, same thing goes with construction. We need that IQ. We need the difference. Um, so I'd love to see more women so that we could create this better culture. Um, you know, not to say it's, you know, it's just, we need some updating, right? And, you know, from that, hopefully we can really develop some great leaders. I think leaders are so important uh, to be able to you know, create more leaders starts at the top and it trickles on down. And so, um, you know, people always ask me, where do you see yourself in electrical? And I'm like, I want to see myself as just being an amazing, like journeyman and foreman, an amazing teacher, somebody who wants to pay it forward. Um, and so that's, that's where I want to be. Well, that's what you're doing. And I have to say that I love the brand that you've created, uh, Lady Vaults. And what made you uh, think of that? I mean, I, I get it, right, with the electrical side, but is there anything else in there that I might not see? Um, the funny thing is it was one of the, the boys at work that came up with the Lady Vaults. Uh, you know, every day I'd go in, we'd throw, up, throw out some ideas of names and half of them were inappropriate. But Lady Vaults, I was like, that's pretty good. Like that I kind of like. Um, the unique thing about my kind of brand that people don't know, I guess, is, um, you know, I have everywhere she's empowering today. And that is like in a reflection of my, my name, Shannon Elizabeth Mosco. So like they're both SET. And so that's kind of like a hidden little thing in my brand that like, again, one of the guys at work came up with. So they're creative. Those boys, they're, they're creative. Um, and so that's kind of um, where my, my brand is. Well, I like that. And I think that, you know, anytime that we can work together and come up with something that's going to draw attention, that's going to stand for something that that's a really great day. And, you know, having a team like that, and I think you do, I mean, I, I see on your social kind of you interacting and, and building different things. And I do hope that everybody will check you out because um, just for entertainment purposes, whether you're in the industry or not, there's that because you're super entertaining. But then you are just giving our industry, excuse me, giving the industry such a, um, in like a look, a window into the world that you're in. And I think that that's really important, both for recruiting, but also to see what you do every day um, as a job uh, that, you know, maybe somebody's coming from the industry and wants to apply and, and go into that trade. Is it your favorite of the trades, electrical? And this is like, again, another thing I'm brutally honest about is I electrical cool is kind of default. You know, I like the, the you know, the science and the, all that kind of hands-on part of that. But I think it's so important we educate our young people. I, our young people know about electricity, plumbers, roofers, that's about it. You know, if I were to reflect back and think, you know, would I have done something differently? I often think an elevator, elevator, you know, installation and maintenance would be a great, great industry, a lot of electrical, but there's not so many people applying for it. So, you know, educate your, yourself on the different trades. It, you know, it, I robbed myself from pretend top, that robbed myself from possibly a, a different opportunity I would have loved because I just didn't know. Yeah, well, I think that's common for any of us coming through uh, school and not knowing of the opportunities and what we are trying to get out there is there's so many uh, opportunities in the trades. And, and like you said, it's not just 
three categories, right? It's, it's uh, so many. And so when we draw attention to that, it's something that I want to do. I definitely want to have more women, uh, both in the trades and manufacturing in general, um, engineering, et cetera. Like just think that it's an option. I know when I was going to college and I was going through and looking um, at what courses I was going to take, um, my mom said, you know, you need to find something to make money. And I was like, okay, finance, that sounds like money. And it had nothing to do with what I would actually like to do in life. And, and really it doesn't even lead you to money unless you have, you got to have money to make money in finance is what I always say. But this, the trades, they, they do pay well. They, do, they do have programs to like, let you immediately start working and growing, which I think is also amazing. Uh, and so I just want to open everybody's mind up. You're doing that every day. And I just want to congratulate you. Um, I want to encourage you to keep, you know, sending out those messages and, and speaking. I saw that you also, you know, are doing speaking engagements and, you know, I, I, you're in Canada. Well, I'm in Alabama. I'm in Texas today, but um, I would love to see you, you know, participate in our empowering women conferences. So I'll be sending you that and just, you know, I wanted the world to know more about other than she just won this award. I wanted them to really know what you stand for and how um, you can grow as well as a leader. And like, sorry, my phone. what I think um, is really important just to kind of like, you know, continue on what you say. I think it's so important that you find something that you love. And so when I talk to anybody, my speeches, it's like, okay, I just talked about the skilled trades for 45 minutes. But what I want you to leave here today with is find something you love. If you can find something you love and make it into a job, it does not feel like going to work every day. And in fact, you, you're norm, normally much more successful making more money at it. So, you know, stop thinking about what pays money and start thinking about what's going to fulfill me, what's going to satisfy me and go find that. And you're only going to find that by trying, not here. You can't, you can't know if you like it because Kim Kardashian or somebody else does or does not. So get out there um, and experience and try until you find something you love. I love it. Thank you, Shannon. Um, how can people reach you if they want to uh, just connect? Um, I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere. So like you said, Lady Volts, if you kind of go to any social media, other Lady Volts or just my name, uh, I like to keep it simple. And, and if anybody has questions, you know, I have a lot of Ontario resources, you know, but I do have a little bit of a network in North America, if they need help resources or, you know, that kind of stuff. I know there's a lot of mentorship programs out there for women trying to get into the skilled trades who are already in the skilled trades and just need somebody to talk to. Uh, sometimes that can be hard. So reach out. Yeah. Wonderful. And yes, we do have audience in Canada. Uh, we love all our Canadians as well. And just that global presence. So um, I, your message resonates across the world. So continue to do that. And I look forward to getting to meet you in person one day. Yes, that would be so beautiful. And I'm wearing my beautiful new, I just got this yesterday, my new Trailblazer shirt. Oh, and I love it. it. So it's like all like, can you see it? My yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I love beautiful. it. And so oh, she's a, she's a, up, up here, Jill. She's a she's a welder and she does a podcast. So I got this yesterday, and I was like, I need to sport my new trailblazer it's, shirt. It's perfect. So we'll we'll definitely send me a link to that, or just how we can get those. You'll have to tell oh, me. Oh, I don't know how you can get these. I just yeah, you I'm ordered like, it. I didn't order it. It was like because I, I think she gives them to people for being on the podcast. Anyways. Well, I'm going to check it out and we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. Uh, I have so many people I want you to know and connect with. So I'll definitely be doing that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll look forward to continuing uh, to connect with you and get to know you even more. Talk to you soon.